Let us continue by switching to render view. Now select the floor, the Archie Mesh floor has a basic node with it, a brick texture, connect the brick texture to the BSDF. After that, to modify the texture parameters, first, change the offset value to zero. Change the mortar size to 0 0.002. So, we need the floor to be marble, for that, we need another principled BSDF, from Shift A, go to Shader, add Mix Shader, then add principled BSDF, before mix those two, add Image Texture. Open it and select the marble map, the link in the description has a collection of marble maps, for you to have some space to change the room as you like, now. Connect the BSDF to the mix shader. You will notice the map is messed up, we need to unwrap it. So, while selecting the floor, press tab to enter edit mode. Press A to select all. Press U and unwrap it. Go to the UV editor. Select the floor in the UV editor, and scale it up, OK. Still we need to edit the floor color and brightness, so, back to the shading editor. Experiment with the roughness, you can also edit the brick scale if you feel it's small, but we are going to leave it like that. To edit the marble color, add a hue saturation node. We will likely be editing it again later after adding materials to the wall and ceiling, but for now, just make the saturation something around 0.5, up the value number to around 1.5. Finish with the floor, take a break, have some tea, ok. Now to the wall trim, it also has basic material with node, align them, we have BSDF and glossy shader, a mix shader with a factor of 0 0.1. First let us add a texture, from add, go to texture, image texture. After that, press tab to enter edit mode, press A to select all. We need to unwrap it, press U to open UV mapping, select the cube projection, now from the UV editor, scale it up. Often the wall trim have cuts or sections, to make those, we are going to copy the brick texture from the floor. So, 
select the floor, with your left mouse click select the node we want, and press Ctrl C. Go back to the wall trim, add another mix shader like shown. Press Ctrl V, edit the width, and the row height, assign to them the same value, something around 0.15. Experiment with the roughness, we are going to leave it like that for now, and work on the walls and ceiling. So the walls and ceiling has basic nodes also, But first, select the walls, press tab to enter edit mode and select all, pressing Ctrl R will add loop cut, with the mouse wheeler, up and down to raise the loop cuts number, add 4 loop cuts to the wall, then add another 4 in the middle as shown. Press number pad 7 to go to top view, we need to add same loop cuts to the bottom ceiling. So add the first 4 loop cuts, then from edges selection, edit the ceiling cuts to align with the wall. Simply select the edge and press G to move on one axis, for example press G then X to move it on the X axis. Then add the other 4 loop cuts. From the overlays on the top right, you can turn on the wireframe preview if you want. So, select the walls, make sure you are on the polygon selection, press A to select all, then hold Ctrl and deselect the part you want to assign to them different material. You can add materials by pressing the plus button. So, we assign the same two materials to the walls and ceiling, but the ceiling shown dark, usually this is normal issue, we need to flip the normals. To do that select the faces, from mesh, go to normals, hit flip normals, that will fix it. As I see the wall trims now, it is a bit dark. I am gonna select it, adding a hue saturation node. Make the saturation 0.5, change the value number to 1.1. Now, to add some environment outside, in the shading window, from the top slider, change it from objects to world, we need an HDRI in the scene, so, from add, go to texture, environment texture, add the HDRI file in it, then connect it to the background node, and green the ceiling shall be, okay. We gonna fix it, 
But first, while selecting the HDRI node, press Ctrl T, this will add two more node, we need the mapping node to align the HDRI with our sun. Experiment with the rotation on the z-axis. Try to make the light rays on the same line. Now to fix the green light exploding in the room. It is the grass reflections from the HDRI, a shading problem, so, to the shading window, we need to add a node called light path, press shift A, in the search bar, type light, you should see it, we need the diffuse ray only, to add it to the material, we need also color mix node, from add, go to color, select mix RGB, Just throw it between the background node and the HDRI, and it should place itself, as shown. Take the diffuse ray and connect it to the factor. You can add the sky blue from the second color option. Experiment with it. You can also go to Google and search sky blue color hex code. The room is a bit bright, change the background strength something like 0.8, also the wall loop cuts color. Make sure to go back to objects in the shading window, experiment with the BSDF color, a dark beige might look nice. So, there is a door in the scene, now I know it did not shown in the animation I did, but, you might take shot with the door in it, so let us model it, simple modeling, nothing fancy, first select the door, press tab to enter edit mode, right click and subdivide it, now before we continue, you should go to google and search doors, you might see something you like, simple, modern door may be a symmetric one, so change the number of cuts for the subdivision to 8. As shown, holding shift and with the left mouse button, I am just selecting faces, after that, press I to insert them, press E to extrude, I am going to repeat this insert and extrude process, pressing shift while moving your mouse will make it slower and more accurate. Ctrl Z if you select another face by mistake, so after the modeling, we need to chamfer the edges, make them smooth, to do that, go to edges selection, press A to select all, and as shown, deselect the other that you don't need, you can change the selection tool from top left, I found circle selection tool to be helpful.
So, after you finish, press Ctrl B for bevel command, with your mouse press and drag, then with the wheeler add smoothness to it, zoom in for better view, fix the start clip value from the view bar, and that's it for this part, you will find anything used in this part in the description down below, stay tuned for next part, goodbye.